ocean looks calm, almost innocent. But beneath that silver horizon, something unreal is moving toward you. It doesn't roar like a battleship. It doesn't announce itself with towering radar masts or thunderous guns. Instead, it slips forward like a shadow, a warship designed to disappear. Imagine standing on the deck of an enemy vessel, staring at your radar screen, and seeing nothing, while a 15,000-ton steel predator is already within striking distance. This is not science fiction. This is not the future. This is the USS Sumwalt, the most radical, most controversial, and most shocking destroyer ever built by the United States Navy. A ship that rewrote naval warfare rules, terrified admirals, confused politicians, and changed how the ocean itself reflects war. This is the story of a destroyer that doesn't look like a destroyer. The USS Sumwalt is a ghost with engines, a blade cutting through the sea. When it was first revealed, people laughed. Some said it looked like a floating wedge, others called it ugly, pointless, or too expensive to matter. But the truth is far more fascinating. Sumwalt was never meant to look powerful. It was meant to vanish. It's sharp, inward angled hull was engineered to scatter radar waves instead of reflecting them. On enemy radar, it appears no bigger than a fishing boat. A warship longer than two football fields, carrying enough power to light a small city, hiding in plain sight. Step closer, and the technology becomes even more unsettling. The Zumwalt is wrapped in advanced composite materials and radar-absorbing coatings. There are no exposed antennas, no traditional gun turrets, no cluttered deck. Everything is sealed, hidden, smoothed. This isn't just stealth by shape, it's stealth by philosophy. The ship was designed from the ground up to fight close to enemy coastlines, where older destroyers would be easily tracked and targeted. Zumwalt was built to enter dangerous waters silently, strike hard, and leave before anyone understands what just happened. Inside its steel skin beats an engine system unlike any destroyer before it. The USS Sumwalt uses an integrated electric propulsion system, essentially turning the entire ship into a floating power station. Its gas turbines generate electricity not just to move the ship, but to power every system on board. With nearly 78 megawatts of power, it has more electrical output than many small towns. This gives it incredible flexibility. Energy can be redirected instantly from propulsion to weapons, sensors, or future systems that haven't even been invented yet. The ship can sprint at speeds of over 30 knots, yet cruise efficiently for long missions, silently gliding through contested waters. Armor on Zumwalt is not about thick steel plates like old battleships. It's about survival through invisibility and automation. Its vital systems are buried deep within the hull, shielded by multiple layers of protection and compartmentalization. The ship is designed to absorb damage, isolate fires, and keep fighting even after taking hits. What makes this even more shocking is the crew size. Traditional destroyers need over 300 sailors. Zumwalt operates with roughly half that number. Advanced automation controls engines, damage control, navigation, and combat systems, reducing human exposure and increasing reaction speed. Fewer sailors, fewer mistakes, faster decisions. Then comes the firepower, and this is where Zumwalt's story takes a dramatic turn. Originally, it was built around two massive advanced gun systems, designed to fire precision long-range projectiles over 100 kilometers inland. These guns were meant to change naval gunfire forever. But the ammunition became so expensive that the program was cancelled, turning those futuristic cannons into silent. Monuments to ambition. Critics called the ship a failure. They were wrong. The Navy adapted. Today, the Zumwalt is transforming into something even more terrifying. Its large vertical launch system can carry a wide range of missiles, from Tomahawk cruise missiles capable of striking deep inland, to advanced air defense interceptors. Most importantly, Zumwalt is being upgraded to carry hypersonic missiles. Weapons that travel faster than Mach 5, maneuver unpredictably, and are nearly impossible to intercept. With these missiles, 
the Zumwalt becomes a first strike platform, able to destroy high value targets before the enemy can respond. A stealth ship firing hypersonic weapons is a nightmare scenario for any adversary. Inside the ship, the atmosphere feels more like a high tech command center than a traditional warship. Flat screens replace old dials, touch interfaces control navigation and combat systems. The bridge looks minimalist, almost futuristic, with wide windows and digital displays providing a complete tactical picture. Living quarters are designed for longer deployments, with improved habitability compared to older destroyers. Even the galley and common spaces reflect a modern approach, because the Navy understands that endurance is not just about fuel and weapons, but about the people who operate them. On the battlefield, the USS Zumwalt plays a unique role. It is not meant to sail in large formations showing the flag. It is designed for contested zones, where enemies use advanced radar, anti-ship missiles, and coastal defenses. Zumwalt can approach hostile shores undetected, provide fire support for ground forces, launch precision strikes, and serve as a command node for joint operations. Its sensors can track threats in air, on the surface, and beneath the waves, sharing data with submarines, aircraft, and satellites. It doesn't fight alone, it fights as part of a network, multiplying its power. And then there is the future. Zumwalt was built with tomorrow in mind. Its enormous electrical capacity makes it a perfect candidate for directed energy weapons like high-power lasers. Imagine a destroyer silently burning enemy drones and missiles out of the sky with beams of light. Railguns, once considered science fiction, are still a possibility as technology matures. The ship's open architecture allows systems to be upgraded without rebuilding the hull. This means Zumwalt can evolve for decades, adapting to threats we haven't even named yet. Now, let's talk about the number that shocked the world, the cost. Each USS Zumwalt class destroyer is estimated at around 7 to 8 billion US dollars when research and development are included. That makes it one of the most expensive surface combatants ever built. Only three were constructed, turning them into rare, almost mythical vessels. Critics argue that the price was too high. Supporters argue that Zumwalt was never just a ship. It was a laboratory, a leap into the future, a risk taken so others could learn. And that may be the most important part of this story. The USS Zumwalt represents a moment when the United States Navy dared to challenge every assumption about naval warfare. Some ideas worked perfectly, some failed loudly, but all of them pushed technology forward. The lessons learned from Zumwalt are already shaping the next generation of warships. Its stealth concepts, power systems, automation, and weapons integration are influencing designs across the fleet. So when you see the USS Zumwalt slicing through the sea, remember this. You are not looking at a mistake. You are looking at an experiment that changed the rules. A ship built not to impress crowds, but to confuse enemies. A destroyer that hides its strength behind silence. A ghost ship carrying the future of naval war. If this story made you see the ocean differently, if it shocked you, inspired you, or made you curious about the machines that shape our world, then don't leave now. Subscribe. 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 Subscribe.